Are robots taking over? Or did they already and we just got used to it? The rise of robots is no longer science fiction. It's happening quietly, step by step. At CES 2026, five machines stood out. Not because they looked futuristic, but because they looked ready. Each one represents a different future, and those futures don't look the same. Boston Dynamics Atlas, the professional. No longer a prototype, no longer a demo. Built for real work, capable of lifting 50 kilograms, working in extreme conditions, replacing its own battery and continuing without pause. Its first employers are Hyundai and Google DeepMind. Factories today, autonomy tomorrow. Atlas doesn't try to impress, it doesn't need to. Roborock Saros Rover, the quiet revolution. For years, home robots avoided one thing, stairs. They mapped around them, ignored them. Saros Rover didn't. With articulated wheel legs, it walks up steps, climbs high thresholds, balances on uneven floors, and cleans the stairs while doing it. It's not humanoid, it's not dramatic, but it finally understands the real world we live in. Unitree G1, pure body intelligence. At CES 2026, it didn't just walk, it danced, it boxed. Perfect timing, explosive movement, total control. At just over 30 kilograms, it reacts faster than most humans. It doesn't think, it doesn't hesitate, it just moves. Neuro Robotics 4NE1, the collective mind. This robot doesn't learn alone. Built on the Neuroverse platform, 4NE1 shares skills with other robots. One learns, the others know. Factories, services, homes. This isn't a single intelligent machine. It's the beginning of machines learning together. And then there's Agibot A2 series, the robot you don't notice because it already fits in. Working in hotels, museums, public spaces, navigating with vision and LIDAR, interacting without spectacle. No hype, no performance, just presence. So what defines the robots of 2026? Power, adaptability, collective intelligence, or something simpler? The moment machines stop looking futuristic and start looking normal. Because when robots no longer shock us, no longer scare us, no longer need explanations, are we still watching the future arrive or are we already living inside it?